Hi all, in this video we will be discussing about lightning data service, uh, so how we can use to record view form given in lightning to display or to load a particular record and to display the values of that particular field. So as you can see on the screen, now we have displayed, uh, there are three screens like this. This is the first one. Uh, this is the first one. Then we have two. More. And uh, I will just refresh this window once. So so uh, as you can see now we have three screens like display a record using lightning record form then we have display a record with a custom layout using lightning record view form so it's lightning record view form and first one is lightning record form and then we have the customizable one <coughs> that is force record data so what is the difference in this three so when you are using lightning record form at that time we have two options how we want to display that field so either we can display all the compact layout fields or all the page layout fields. so we will just go to the code once so this is the lightning component and this in this lightning component we have lightning record form in that we have defined the id the object apn image account and the layout layout <coughs> type is compact and the columns are two so all the fields which are in compact layout will be present in this particular form the record form if i will change it to full then all the fields I can select all users or <coughs> which are available in it's a great idea to roll new uh, the page layout in record good understanding of how the that will be visible so I will just refresh it this is saved now so it's a bit of a misnomer. I'll select chat and, and select done. And so now I have the scope of this policy in terms of the users that it will impact. Under control, you'll notice here I'm requiring Azure MFA registration. Fresh required. I can review here the current registration count. So you'll find that this dashboard is a few minutes to a few hours behind your current. So as you can see now, the, and then I set my there are n number of fields now. These are all the fields which are present in the now, page. The now they are available. If I will change it to compact, then all the fields which are in compact layout will be visible. So showcase you that this stuff. Resolve previous I will just change it to but it will help you with future back. So you'll see here in the left hand menu of the Azure Identity Protection Dashboard, we have the user risk policy and sign-in risk policy. User risk applies when an account is suspected of compromise, for example, uh, password leakage. So I'll click I'll on the user risk policy. Account I have similar check. settings, just as we did with MFA. I can select all your individual go to again, prioritizing back layout to protect your user experience and, and system default. Your so in this layout, here that I can select my tolerance for risk. Microsoft as you can see, medium and above. There are going to minimize your user profile. It's nine fields for that medium so. category. And under control, we have changed in the configuration that is in our developer console. So just to reflect the changes, we have to refresh the screen. So I'm just refreshing it. And I can view the number of users impacted. So based on the groups that I select in the policy, it's going to show me here a summary of how many users would be challenged and how many would be blocked in my environment based on my settings. And as with the same policy, I can set the force to on or off to apply or not apply the policy. So now let's have a look at the sign in response. So it takes some time to reflect the changes in lightning. So I have just refreshed it on only the things or all the fields which are in compact layout now. They are only available. Once I change it to full, then all the fields on the page layout will be available in this layer. Okay. So this is one of the things when we want to load any record, we can use record form. If we don't want to uh, means add some of the fields which are not on page layout and not on uh, compact layout, then we cannot use record form. And we have only two choices. If we make it layout type as compact, then all the compact layout fields will be visible. If we make it to full, then all the full uh, all the page layout fails will be visible and we can make the changes on that. If there is a requirement to only showcase two fields, then we have to go with another thing that is 
and immediately taken to the Azure portal. Uh, record view form. And in this record view form, we have <coughs> just given record ID and then the object API name is account. And then we have designed the SLD script, the division class, so 2s to 3, that the size of that particular column, then the field API name, and it is lightning output field because we want to focus the value of that particular field. So that's why we have used output field. And, uh, output, output field is not writable. So we have just given the API name of that particular field, and as you can see, these are the fields which we want to showcase. So this is not possible using record form, because in record form we can edit the fields and we can only showcase what is there in compact layout or what is there in page layout. Now the third time, Record data, force record data. So we have some attributes, name and record of type object, then simple record of type object, record error of type string if there is any error while loading that particular uh, record. So at that time, we will see that message. Force record data or ID record loader, any ID can define. Then what are the fields you want to showcase? So name, billing city, billing state, industry, record ID, you have given that. Target fields, simple record, this record object instance, target error, record updated. So you have to handle the record update. So all the things now are customized. All the custom options are previous to that. All the things were given. And you have to just use them. Now you can configure according to your choice. Then you are writing for record details. The lightning card icon will be the, the standard account before you consider your configuration of Azure Active Directory Identity Protection. Then the title will be simple record dot name, whatever the name of that particular record is. Then the you have to more specifically de uh, design the stuff uh, on the UI part for better user experience. Then you can go with record form and how it looks is in this Display record data in a customer, custom user interface using record data. So now we we can see a, a, a record a account icon and then the name of that particular account, what is the billing state and all that things we can see. So majorly we use record data because it is customizable according to the user requirement or according to the business requirements which we have and it is more easily it can be customized there are some limitations to record view form and record record form that's why a sample of that also this post record data example, has is being in our email used. for the most recent of these weekly okay. summary messages. And, and here's a weekly digest. Uh, yeah. for the last Thank week, you. Have, have a nice day. If you, you have any doubts, so, 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 so